Hello and welcome back to this XCOM playthrough of Long Warhammer of the Chosen 40k. Yes, that is still the name. I'm sticking to it. Um, Alright, once where we last left off, we're about to go scan at the black market. So let's go ahead and continue that. Alright, let's see if he has anything. Now grabbing a scientist early could be pretty good. Uh, gun parts, probably not what we need right this second. Soldier, probably not needed right now. I would like to buy one of these, but I also want to save up money so I can build the training school here soon. And I can't really do much more here. I can go ahead and start course for sector eight. yeah let's Mexico. go ahead and make uh, contact with New Mexico here Oop. oh wait no I'm not in contact with New Mexico okay so maybe that's what the research is for oops all right what's going on here let's go ahead and switch some of these guys to supply I'm not exactly sure how all of this works I'm not incredibly familiar with this. What is adding someone here to? Oh. I don't know what that does. But, yeah, we'll put someone there. And let's go to the Skirmisher HQ. And I guess let's just uh, go ahead and scan for a little bit. This will prove to be an important step forward. So now, you probably want to do, uh, let's go ahead and grab Alien Biotech. Is eager to begin, and in two days we'll be able to start building the Guerrilla Tactics School. We can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, we'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. States. Let's hop over here and start making contact. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Cool, cool. All right, now let's build the guerrilla tactics school. Make sure it's in the right spot. I don't know if this is the most ideal option first, but. Initiated. Uh, wait, no, I do not. Oh, no, I do want to put someone there. My bad. So we want to build that faster. And then hopefully, yes. Okay, cool. We got this. Oh, no, this is the research. Hold on. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It, it is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. Okay. So we'll have to murder somebody and cut their brain the open. The officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. AP the rounds? The implanted chip is the key. 
AP rounds could be good. However, right now, not so much. Just because we're not really going to be dealing with many armor targets. Mech Trooper Augmentation. So, uh, if you played XCOM Enemy Within, you should remember the Mech Troopers. Um, in XCOM 2, they were taken out, but this mod adds them back. Now, I actually haven't gotten a chance to see how the Mech Troopers play, but I'm very excited to see them. I'm also very uh, excited to see the Sparks, because in my playtesting, I did get to build a Spark, and there's a sp Spark Overhaul mod, and makes... Uh, makes them very, very fun to play with. I really enjoyed them. Uh, let's see. Do we not have a commander corpse? Less than ideal. But that is A-OK. -okay. We can always kidnap one. So let's go ahead and grab modular weapons now. That work begins immediately, commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. So, we need 80 intel to make contact with the new location, so unfortunately we don't have enough to grab a new spot right this second. But hopefully we should be able to get some pretty quickly. We're reading you. Alright, New cool, cool. regional contact located. So for you, you can go ahead and do a little bit of supply as well. That way we get some intel, we get some supply. Commander, as of right now, we don't have enough intel to get so a solid for bearing now, on the local resistance forces in that area. Yes, we just head on back to the skirmisher HQ, try to build some stuff quicker. Mexico. All right, our, fir our first not first mission. So what's interesting about Long War, if you haven't played before, is that unlike standard XCOM where you send in your squad and you just start the mission immediately, you have to infiltrate. So let me explain better. So we're gonna have four days and 15 hours to infiltrate this mission. We can go ahead and send in a squad here. So I. I'm not interested in sending in this squad, so let's uh, assign some rookies. We're just going to add like a bunch. Nope. There we go. Put in these guys. Alright, so this is too many soldiers. Uh, you'll notice it'll take us 7 days and 12 hours to infiltrate, which means the enemies are going to be... Uh, there'll be more enemies than usual, so, um, oh no, that's boosted. Where is the, here it is, yeah. Expected activity with our current infiltration would be 24 to 2, 22 to 24 enemies, which is going to be considerable for a bunch of rookies to handle. So, instead of doing that, we're going to just cut down on the amount of soldiers we're bringing. Alright, so with five... No, four soldiers. We can go ahead and get there in time. Now maybe... Is there any way we can eke out that other soldier? No, we would have to infiltrate. No, or, um... We'd have to... You, you can boost with intel, but that costs intel. And I don't want to be spending that already. Now this would bump it up to 10 to 12 enemies. Which isn't impossible the first mission we played was 10 to 12 enemies so we could just say to heck with it and go with a one extra pawn i'm gonna customize our soldiers while i think about it and i'll be right back i went ahead and customized them all and uh now they all look like imperial guardsmen and they should all sound the part as well uh, for loadouts, I gave them all scout marine armor for a little bit more mobility. Uh, I gave them a las gun and a las pistol. And I dropped their grenade just to give them a little bit more mobility. Now, that might be a mistake, but we'll see what happens. But we're going to go ahead and infiltrate. Even though we won't get to max, it's only going to add a couple enemies. We're going to go from 7 to 9 to 10 to 12. So that's not too bad, all things considered. I think we can handle it. Especially with five soldiers. Sky Ranger 
So, unlike normal XCOM, we're going to start infiltration, and we're actually not going to start the mission immediately. They're going to be infiltrating while we do other things right now. So, in this case, we'll just be scanning. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. So, what I'm thinking... Ooh, actually, I was gonna say let's grab the data cache because we'd be able to get extra intel, I believe. Yeah, a large amount of intel. So, and that would give us the ability to make contact with another region. However, chopping two days off of experimental weapons could be pretty nice. So, I think I will grab it while it's inspired. I will begin our research immediately. Now, we should finish the Gorilla Tactics School. Awesome, yeah. Now operational. Before the mission starts. That way we get that XP bonus. Assuming we have the money for it. Um, oof, we don't. Okay. So instead, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go over to the black market. So we don't need that much more money. Avenger and I would very much course. like to grab that before this mission starts. So let's make a few sales. Or sales. Sales? Sales. Uh, we only need 75 and we're at 60. So we could sell three of these corpses. And that should bring us to $76. So let's go ahead and do that. And with that... We can now buy the wet work. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. Shen, I don't we need your sass right now. Construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Alright. So now that that's done, we can go back and start scanning. Setting course for Mexico. And once this is done, we'll grab the advent cache so we can grab another... We lost a little bit of intel. I actually didn't see where that went. I wonder if that wasn't worth the upgrade, but it is no big deal either way. Alright, so our first mission is available. Ooh, actually, it might be seven to nine enemies, which is very lucky. Alright, so let's go ahead and launch it then. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. Right. So the game actually crashed loading this mission. So I loaded up and just uh, fast forwarded time at the Skirmisher HQ and got back here and it loaded fine the second time. So occasionally you may, it might be good to save before you start up a mission just so it doesn't crash and you lose a bunch of progress. Thankfully everyone was already customized and everything so we're still good to go. Now what's not fortunate is the fact that we don't have concealment. Absolutely. You heard the man. Jump to. So I want to be a little careful with how I start moving, just because I'd hate to reveal to or reveal a pod when I'm not ready. And so we should be able to safely get over to this area. If such is the Emperor's will. On my way. Whatever you say. You heard the man. Jump to. I can handle that. Okay, still no sight of Xenos. Let's go ahead and just push all the way up. And thankfully, we actually get there with no issues. So yeah, let's just mark the supplies. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Um, Alright. 
So I, I'm going to scoot forward, but I'm going to do it a little carefully, but I'll probably move him up to the train. Executing your orders, sir. Heading out. Alright, let's go ahead and I'll just drop him here. Here, here, and here. Sure thing. Huh? Alright, so we're probably looking at seeing a pod over here to our right. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 15. So unfortunately I don't think there's gonna be a good way for us to uh, push forward and not have the pod in a good position. So let's not just see what we get by pushing up a little bit. Two soldiers, not bad. We should be able to handle that pretty well. Oh, we should be able to flank that one guy. Um, however, I don't know if we'll be able to get a good angle on him. No problem, boss. Right, do we have eyes on the soldier? Dang, unfortunately, he's in a pretty vulnerable position, but I don't think we're going to be able to flank him. So I just don't think we're going to be able to get eyes on that position. So, in the meantime, we'll just go ahead and take our time. We'll just grab some more crates. And I don't want to get overconfident. I do want to move up and grab this crate. But I don't want to get into a position where I activate another pod quite yet. Um, I mean, we do... Hmm. Okay, so you're gonna go on Overwatch. Scanning. I think you're gonna go on Overwatch as well. You can move up to here. Jump to. An Overwatch, and then you... Yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and scoot up a little bit. It is my duty to serve. Okay, so we do finally have eyes on this guy, but since we're flanking him, he'll probably leave, hopefully. Yeah, no one else can see him, so... I guess we're just gonna... Um, yeah, I think we'll just overwatch for now. Overwatch. Advent has already marked a couple of Alright, so those are pretty close by. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves and prevent their airlift. Right, let's see if we can't get a kill here. Come on, focus. Oof. Damn. Ooh. Wow, okay. Not okay. Okay, yeah, so if you have a pistol, you'll return fire when you get shot at. So it is nice that we hit him. I was kind of hoping we would kill him. That guy being on Overwatch is a pain. Once again, they're positioned as far back as possible. They really know how to screw with me. Alright, so I think I'm going to scoot up here and pray the Overwatch shot misses me. Because he is pretty far away, so he shouldn't hit, hopefully. On my way. This really is unfortunate. unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think there's much of a way for me to approach without triggering the Overwatch. No one was in flashbang distance. Well, now that his overwatch is over, we're going to go ahead and flank him. Wait, overwatch again. Wait, is he still on overwatch? Oh, he's still on overwatch. Oh, wow. Okay. Good lord. Well, that shot went off his plate, so he's still fine. 
Uh, one of my soldiers did end up getting hit, so that's a little unfortunate for sure, but we dealt with them pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to push up to here, I think. And I think that revealed a pod. Or no, it's because I'm picking up the loot. So you can hit tab to switch between uh, which soldier is currently doing something it, because of the mod I have. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. So for example, will handle the pickup. he's moving. I can hit tab to issue a command to a different soldier. And I'll just go ahead and move over here and grab this last or this other crate over here. So we should be able to grab this supplies. So we've killed two when there's likely nine to seven enemies. So I'm a little worried about where the others are. Now, it is worth mentioning, we do have to call evac on this mission. So we do want to grab corpses, and we also need to call that in advance. Um, Alright, so I'm going to scoot up. Whatever you say. And we'll mark this. And you can... Star scooting this way. Yes, sir. And so he found a pod, it looks like. Ooh. Two drones. Alright, so they pushed pretty far forward, actually. However, we should be able to easily flank this sectoid. Okay, so someone is more than likely getting stunned this turn. Heading out. And let's hope for a lucky crit. Well, we did get a crit, just unfortunately didn't kill. Is there any way you can hit him within your movement range? Dang. Okay. So we have two people left. Who? You can't hit the sectoid from here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill that drone, make sure he's dead. Alright. We did it! Now that other drone is kind of uncontested. Um Yeah, I'll try to rapid fire. I was gonna hope to kill a sectoid, but he should likely mind control next turn, so let's just try to do this. Oh, we didn't even need the rapid fire. Alright, so there's one crate, and there there's the other. Really that should, should be pretty easy to grab. To get those crates. If we want our share, we'll have to move just as fast. Oh, he resurrected. Okay, that works. So, let's see, who is within range to grab a crate? So you obviously are, and you obviously are, but I would love it if someone, yeah, okay, I want to kill that sec no problem, boss. Awesome, all right. So with that, 
Wait, can I stop in here and yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and make a pit stop right here and grab this loot. And then run on over. Actually, before I. Oh yeah, we have plenty of actions. Yes, sir. We'll mark that. We'll mark that. So we did take a hit so far, but other than that, I think this is going pretty well. Mm, I guess. So I know there's a crate here. I saw a crate over here, I think. And there's likely not crates inside, and there might be a crate on top. So I'm going to position, I'm going to have you go out this way, and you push up with the team. Running. I guess you can go ahead and overwatch. We won't let you down, son. I could have sworn. Oh, there it is. I say I could have sworn I saw a crate. Now that is pretty far away, and there's a very good chance of alerting another pod by me moving up to that. So I will move up, but I'm gonna try to do it carefully. Alright, go ahead and grab that. And I think now would be a pretty good time to call in. Uh, evac. I think I want to do it on high ground. Just so we have a good... Uh, I mean, guess it doesn't matter. Let's just do it right here. So the whole squad can get there. Yeah. Well, this way we make sure evac is here by the time... Uh... The squad is ready to leave. Right, we're gonna go for it. And thankfully we did not reveal another pod. That is incredibly lucky. So that probably means the other pod's over in this neighborhood. Or perhaps inside the building in a spot we can't see yet. But I don't know where they would be actually. If such is the Emperor's will. Kill him! Oh, Kill well, there's him. one of them. That actually might be the last guy. Alright, go ahead. Mark the supplies, and let's go ahead and rapid fire. Oh, we just get a crit and kill him. Awesome. Looks like everything's in order, sir. And so we marked that one, we marked that one, and we marked that one. So I think that should be all the crates this turn. So let's scoot up a little Absolutely. bit. You can Overwatch. Got it covered. And we'll do a little risky move and move up to grab that. Alright, so it's good that we didn't alert another pod, because he is in a not great position. Alright, so there's another enemy. There's two enemies, okay. Guess they were just hiding out behind that building this whole time. Very good kill. Uh, let's just go for a cheeky flank. Awesome, okay. Now that should be the last enemy. Let's go ahead and start grabbing corpses. Yeah, because there's no crates left. We got all of them. That's nine enemies, so that should be all enemies on the map so we can just start grabbing corpses and moving over to the evac Not a problem. you're out of actions so we have three turns to go find and grab bodies 
You go grab that one. You can go and grab this drone. Take the objective. Yeah, grabbing drones always looks a little silly since they don't have a body. Wait, don't tell me. Is that the last soldier? Oh, I was gonna say. I thought, um... I thought for a moment that uh, there he saw a pod because I couldn't toggle to a different character, but that was just the last person. I right, grab the loot and grab the body. You will have it. And you go grab a corpse. Alright, we have to figure out where the corpse actually is. That's uh that's part of the fun of corpse hunting, is that they're a little finicky sometimes, like this one for example. I can handle that. Nope, still can't grab it. Um maybe here. And then yeah, you have a corpse and you have a corpse, so go ahead and get on in there. Sure, yes, sir. And I'll just end my turn. Join your team over there. Right, can you grab the body yet? No, still not. How about here? Seems doable. Nope. How about here? Alright, awesome. We found this body. body you will have it. Let's see if you can. Oh, yeah, you should be able to sprint in here in time. You heard the man. Jump to. Alright, so the majority of the team is back. Yeah, almost everyone's back. So, reinforce. Or, uh, evac is here. Alright, can you... You still can't grab this corpse, huh? So I do... I kind of want to run over here and grab that. And then you can probably make it from here to there. Alright, yeah, let's try to grab no that problem, corpse. Alright, so we will have to wait I until the um, reinforcements show up. But that shouldn't matter. So you shouldn't be able to attack us on that first turn. I'm going to scoot back to make sure they actually have a spot to stand on. And no one left behind will wait until the other person gets on the evac spot. Okay, I guess they come this turn. So in that case, it works out perfectly. No need to ask twice. Then let's go ahead. Oh yeah, here we go. You back all. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Hey. Excellent work. There's two enemies on the map still. I mean, I kind of figured because uh, the enemy turn wasn't instantaneous so i figured there was enemies on the map still but like ha huh. all right the aliens are probably still wondering what hit them let's keep it oh up, okay so i think they only took one damage so i guess they're not in the hospital i think if um Oh, I know exactly what happened. Okay, so I gave them scout armor, which gave them plus one health. So they only are quote-unquote injured if they drop below the health they started at. So in this case, she started at four, the scout armor gave her plus one, so that extra little bit of health that she took didn't count as an injury. So that's very convenient, actually. 
Three corpses, a sectoid corpse, and a drone. Very nice. Yeah, I'm aware. Okay, so let me go ahead and customize all five of these guys, which will take a little while. So I'll be back. Alright, so I made a grenadier and a heavy bolter character. So, yeah, I went and made him look just really beefy. I wanted him to look like a tank. Um, and then for soldier abilities, I went ahead and gave him Anarchist, which is going to give him an additional grenade plus uh, crit chance based on how many people he can see. And then Eagle Eye, just so he's a little more likely to hit with his heavy bolter. Um, and he gets a dedicated grenade, uh, grenade slot because of Grenadier. So with his loadout, I gave him a Scout Marine, so he's a little bit more mobile, even though he's not as tanky because of that. But uh, so the Scout or the Space Marine would give him more armor as well. But um, I want him to actually be able to get to the fight and help. And his heavy bolter hits like a truck, dealing six to eight damage. Plus he can suppress. Now. The thing is he actually has to get within range and hit the enemy to do any meaningful amount of damage on the battlefield. So yeah, I wanted him to have good aim and good uh, mobility. Um, now, the question is, is there any loadout that doesn't have his gun clipping, or uh, any attitude that doesn't have his gun clip as much? Uh, intense will do. Alright, next person. So I went ahead and made the apothecary. I uh, gave him the infantry so he can uh, hold the line, shoot things that need to be shot, so on and so forth. Um, I gave him the medic role for obvious reasons. And then I decided since I'm going to give this or move him to squad A, that is probably good to give him the hacker role as well um, as they really don't have anything that's going to be anti-machine and since he's already going to be carrying a gremlin might as well and because of that I made it so he has plus 20 hacking as well as he's going to buff all allies by giving them plus shred so he's going to be kind of a buffing teammates uh, t healing teammates uh, and then attacking enemies here and there where needed alright and then I'll go ahead and loadout wise I'll give him the apothecary armor and give him a Astarte bolter now for the here we go you can give him a servo skull which if you can can't really see behind him that well uh, yeah, he's got a servo skull, so I think that's pretty fun. Um, and then we'll give him a first aid kit. And then maybe... Maybe I'll pull his flashbang for now, just to give him a little bit more mobility. Um, maybe I'll give him scout armor instead, actually, just so he can actually get to the fight and help. They tend to have... My medics always seem to be very slow. So maybe doing this will help him actually get to where he needs to be. Then again, with the gremlin, he shouldn't necessarily need it. We'll see how it goes. If he has, like, extra mobility, then uh, we can probably give him some gear. Let's buff... Yes, let's go ahead and buff his hack. Make him very valuable against robotic units. Yeah, so his hack is at, oh my gosh, it's at, uh, what, 58? Or, uh, my bad, 88? That's pretty solid for a pretty low-level character at the moment. So let's move him over into this group. Alright, so we now have a group of six, and I think that's a pretty good amount to leave this squad at. So I'll start working on the next squad. So let me see what I can make. I went ahead and customized him 
and I made him a little unique. Um, so I didn't make him a sniper, even though he does have a rifle. Um, but I gave him irregular, so low cover counts as high cover, and he'll gain concealment when non-visible range of an enemy, but takes twice the twice the damage. I also gave him stalker, so he is less or has less deduction detection range. And then I gave him close to, or assault, so he can run and gun, get around the map, uh, hopefully get high crits, and then snipe key targets. Scout, so he can stay concealed and uh, hopefully get crit chance uh, when flanking targets and stuff like that. And then Saboteur, so he can throw out some bombs and things. Um, so, it's kind of like a Reaper. But I'm thinking a little more mobile and a little more um, utility because he also, with the hunter rifle, uh, when he shoots, it's either when he shoots or he can mark a target. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but he can mark a target so they get, uh, people get more crit damage, flanking chance, and flank crit chance. So yeah, he'll hopefully be uh, flanking more. So for him, I'll give him more mobility would be nice, but I guess let's do aim. Alright, so I went ahead and customized the two extra characters, and I decided to make a combination I think will be pretty interesting. So... First off, I'll go ahead and say the Assault Marine I added uh, to the squad. He's pretty standard. Nothing too amazing about him. But, so we, we already have the Assassin who's going to specialize in stealth and like sneaking around getting cheeky hits. But I thought about it, and adding a Sniper who also is going to be stealthy could be pretty interesting. So what I went ahead and did was gave him irregular as well. So when he's not invisible, uh, like when he's not directly visible, um, he will go into stealth. Um, now, as a squad site sniper, he's going to be sitting pretty far back. Um, he should be in stealth all the time. So what I think will be interesting is putting um, Scout on him so he can get Shadow Strike, where he gets 50 aim and 50 critical hit chance while in stealth. So theoretically, he should be able to just get up on a perch somewhere, go into stealth repeatedly, and be getting these plus 50 damage or a bonus and critical hit chance like every single turn. And that could be very crazy. And so what I'm thinking is, one of the characters, the other stealthy one, he can sneak around, get eyes for the sniper, and the sniper will can just like rain down shots uh, and basically get guaranteed hits. Um, so I also went with infantry, because uh, some of the abilities could be very good. So tactical sense, um, not necessarily i mean it will be useful when he is eventually seen but probably not needed a uh, dead eye a little bit extra aim and crit chance against unflinkable targets that could be pretty solid um however surgical precision is the big reason i picked it is because it will reduce aim penalties from cover by half so if that is what i understand that to be an enemy behind half cover will only get half of the uh, cover bonus so he should be able to hit people even behind full cover with that plus 50 percent or plus 50 aim and the ability to uh shoot through cover basically uh light him up could be very good uh oh wait that doesn't work never mind that's fine um rapid fire will be good because he'll have such ridiculous aim that it, it won't matter. Um, so that 15 penalty isn't that big of a deal. Uh, kill them all could be very solid. Same with Sniper Elite. Or no, that is Serial, my bad. 
Um, both just give lots of uh, lots of abilities to hit multiple targets. So he should be able to rapid fire, hit a big target, um, hit lots of people with Shadow Strike and always be in stealth. Now, if he is seen, he might get uh he won't be in a good spot because he takes double damage however um another thing i gave him was militia so the three aim is nice and the two tile sight range is nice but the main thing is the minus 50 percent weapon range penalties so he should be able to hit people in squad sight range fairly easily and so all of this should be making a sniper who ends up being able to hit people no matter where they are as long as he can see them and getting crits almost every single shot um, which could end up being very ridiculous um, so I'm excited to see how he's gonna end up playing the uh, another thing is if he doesn't have anyone to shoot he can aim and get another 20 aim and crit so that would be, assuming he stealthed and aimed the previous turn, he would have plus 50, or plus 70 aim and plus 70 crit. Um, and if he didn't shoot last turn, that would be another, that would be plus 80 uh, crit and aim. Plus I gave him a um, scope, so he's going to have a better chance of hitting things at range. And then on top of that, um he's gonna have 83 aim uh better chance to hit it very long range and then uh reduce cover so he should have a very very good chance at hitting a target and an also incredible chance at critting said target now if only there was a way you could boost crit chance through here but I'm tempted, I think. I'm gonna give him some mobility. Because ideally he won't ever see combat, like directly. So health shouldn't be that big of a deal. And mobility will just get him into a position to shoot just that much quicker. So yeah, I'm very interested to see how he goes. And then yeah, like I said, we have an assault marine who's pretty standard. Uh Gave him Spartan and Drifter for mobility, aim, dodge, all that. Pretty standard. Huh. Alright, so... Before I hop into the next mission... Is there anything that was needed? No. So I think we can go ahead and just keep scanning for now. And in two days, experimental weapons will be done. Um, yeah, we don't have enough intel to make contact yet, so let's just keep scanning. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. So. I think what I would like to do here is go ahead and grab this alien data cache. That way we get some intel and can grab the extra um, location. Let's go and do that. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. You know, you say that, Tygen, but I don't think you did. You're just trying to seem smart. Shut up, you dumb nerd. Um, what do we want to do here? Oh my gosh. Um, it's not quite what I had in mind. Oh, actually, you know, while we're here, um, oh yeah, we still, no, we did end up buying the XP thing. Never mind. I was to say, we still need that. Um, this will be very, very nice eventually. Um, six to seven unit will take less time. That means I can field bigger squads on missions more often. Uh... Now I also have squad size increases, but we'll probably won't need those. Vulture could be pretty solid, just to get more gear, 
Um, you know, I originally wrote off Lightning Strike, but that's an additional six tiles for every single soldier throughout the entire... Mi Actually, no, wouldn't that be six tiles per turn? Because I think the mobility... Like, say you have plus one mobility, that'd be plus one to your blue range, and then plus one to the yellow range after that. So, if I'm not mistaken, that would be plus 12 tiles for every soldier for the um over the span of two turns so you know lightning strike could be very good uh it'll help us get into position especially with that sniper i was just talking about he could get up into position very quickly now what i'm most excited about is dynamic deployment i don't know how it works but it sounds very fun and it sounds very um in character to just be able to deploy a space ring behind enemy lines so I would really like to get that. But that's probably a bit down the line. So we could build a workshop. Now I don't recall since it's been a while since I've played XCOM. I, I know there's the proving grounds where you can build better, uh, it's like the research, but for engineering, uh, I, no, the workshop is important, but I don't. I think all it does is staff adjacent rooms, which is useful. But at the moment, not so much, just because all I have is the training grounds or the uh, yeah. Um, I could build a resistance ring, but I don't know if I really want. What's going on over here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to... I, I don't know if I care right now. And it's definitely something I want to build, but I don't think right this second. So I think I'm just going to hang on to my supplies for the time being. Alright, eight days. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a lot of time. We can send almost an entire squad, I think. So, let's go ahead and create a new squad. And just assign a bunch of rookies. And I leave six people left over uh, for another mission if needed. Alright, so let's send in... Hitman. Okay, so that's going to be nine days, so we'll drop it down. Uh, I don't like your mustache. You get kicked off the mission. All right, seven days, yeah. So we can go ahead and send these seven soldiers out. Uh, get, a, get everyone leveling up pretty quickly so we can start getting multiple squads built. <sighs> but that means time to customize everybody again. Alright, so I went ahead and customized all the rookies. And same deal, nothing special, standard squad or gear. However, this guy had a robot head, and I thought that was kind of fun. So I, I'm just going to leave that as is. And uh, let's go ahead and send them out. And probably just scan a skirmisher for a little bit. Setting course for Western United States. Let's see, what was the deal with this mission? I actually didn't read it. Enemy material, infiltration mission, star reveal, star city, smash and grab. Okay. So Ooh wow. Actually I didn't even look at the expiration time. That is very short amount of time. Man, even our three-man squad can't infiltrate in time. We're expecting 16. I was going to say three men with these two, I would consider it. But I think we're just going to have to pass up with this mission. We just don't have enough time and I don't want to spend intel on it. Setting course for the Mexican regional draft.
not think I could have predicted this All outcome. Right. Awesome. Nope, is that is ex uh, just over exactly enough what we need. So now that we have that, well, let's just immediately spend it on resistance radio. No, um, yeah, I think hybrid materials would probably be the n way to go from here. I would like to do some of these autopsies, but at the moment, the better gear might be best. So now, let's go talk to the rest of North America. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish local regional... We've got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Hey, you first thing. have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. All skirmishers, all those freed from the Elder's Ball. Oh, wow. Are eager to hear your orders, Commander. Oh, wow. Yeah, facility construction speed. I would love the shredding, but right now we don't need that. We're not seeing armored targets, so I think I'm going to pass on that for this month. But definitely going to keep an eye on that. That sounds really good, especially since each bolter does some shred. Uh, but being able to build things 25% faster is pretty considerable. We have learned new things, new tactics to be used against the Elder Servants. If you would order it, we will make it so. Uh, ability points would be pretty nice. And we can't locate a new faction quite yet. However, ooh, that is 22 points would be nice. Um, what if we send in some of our higher rank soldiers? And when I say higher rank, I mean not very high rank. Yeah, there's still almost a 10% chance of uh, ambush. If the Chosen shows up, I, I'm not willing to take that risk send out the best soldiers just to have them immediately fight the chosen and get clapped i will pass dang it all right large map unfortunate um oh wow one day uh, Operation Watch. What would we actually get? A rookie. Resistance personnel would be nice. But one day. I don't think we even have the intel for that. Because we would probably have like five. So we would probably be looking at... I don't even know. 20 to 40 enemies. I don't think we can take that on. I think we're going to have to pass up on that mission, too, unfortunately. Alright, we've already seen that. New regional contact located. Okay, so now that we have this going on, I'll go ahead and set some of these to supply. And let's hop on over here and grab that case. Board. course for Mexico. Ooh, I was hoping we'd get some intel on that package. Okay, maybe maybe we want to turn some of these guys back to intel. Because we're pretty low at the moment. Ooh, what's going on here? Huh. Alright, so 
before we start this mission, I think this is probably a pretty good spot to end this episode. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting Shen. Your staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, I don't need your sass. Waiting for an assignment. Um, we can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Resistance comms could be useful, but we don't have the intel to make contact with anyone at the moment. Uh, power relay isn't needed to this second. Workshop, laboratory. Laboratory could be good. Training center, probably not. Um, you know, let's go ahead and just build that resistance ring. I th actually, no. I don't know. Um, I'll go ahead and build a workshop here. And we'll probably end up using it. Four days, that is very fast. Alright. Yeah, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and tackle that mission at the beginning of next episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. With pride, I wear the symbol of my chapter. And join my brothers. In war.